Good morning and welcome to OldStMary's.com, a ministry of Old St. Mary's Parish in the South Loop of Chicago, where we are happy to welcome you on this Monday, this September 27th, Monday of the 26th week in ordinary time, where we join the entire church in celebrating the memorial of St. Vincent de Paul. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. For he has anointed me and sent me to preach good news to the poor, to heal the brokenhearted. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, as we gather, let us turn to God and ask for mercy in our lives. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who for the relief of the poor and the formation of the clergy endowed the priest St. Vincent de Paul with apostolic virtues, grant that a fire with the same spirit we may love what he loved and put into practice what he taught. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. reading from the book of Zechariah. The word of the Lord of hosts came. Thus says the Lord of the hosts, I am intensely jealous for Zion, stirred to jealous wrath for her. Thus says the Lord, I will return to Zion and I will dwell within Jerusalem. Jerusalem shall be called the faithful city and the mountain of the Lord of hosts, the holy mountain. Thus says the Lord of hosts, old men and old women, each with staff in hand because of old age, shall again sit in the streets of Jerusalem. The city shall be filled with boys and girls playing in its streets. Thus says the Lord of hosts, even if this should seem impossible in the eyes of the remnant of this people, shall it in those days be impossible to my eyes also, says the Lord of hosts. Thus says the Lord of hosts, Lo, I will rescue my people from the land of the rising sun and from the land of the setting sun. I will bring them back to dwell within Jerusalem they shall be my people, and I will be their God with faithfulness and justice. The word of the Lord. The Lord will build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. The nations shall revere your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory, when the Lord has rebuilt Zion and appeared in his glory, when he has regarded the prayer of the destitute and not despised their prayer. Let this be written for generation to come, and let his future creatures praise the Lord, 
The Lord looked down from his holy height. From heaven he beheld the earth to hear the groaning of the prisoners, to release those doomed to die. The children of your servants shall abide and their posterity shall continue in your presence, that the name of the Lord may be declared to Zion and his praise in Jerusalem. When the peoples gather together and the, and the kingdom to serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. The Son of Man came to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. An argument arose among the disciples about which of them was the greatest. Jesus realized the intention of their hearts and took a child and placed it by his side and said to them, Whoever receives this child in my name receives me, and whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. For the one who is least among you is the one who is the greatest. Then John said in reply, Master, we saw someone casting out demons in your name, and we tried to prevent them, because he does not follow in our company. And Jesus said to him, do not prevent him, for whoever is not against you is for you. The Gospel of the Lord. So the, the particular story in today's Gospel about the argument in the disciples about who's the greatest is one that we've just recently heard on Sunday, so it, it keeps coming up. And it's always significant whenever Jesus takes a child and puts it next to him and says, this is what you got to do. You got to learn to uh, approach things like a child or, or with childlike heart and faith. On this celebration today of St. Vincent de Paul, we are very much aware of a priest who understood the importance of taking care of someone like a little child, that is, someone who is needy, someone who needs the protection of adults, someone to be by him. Vincent de Paul goes back into the 1600s, and he realizes, he's come, he comes to realize the poor and the needy of his society, and he decided to do something about it. So. Even today, we have uh, the group that he founded, the Vincentian Fathers, who still go about taking care of the poor and the needy and those who are in need of good education. Vincent de Paul is also the patron saint of all of our uh, institutions of charity. So things like Catholic Charities, the St. Vincent de Paul Society, all of those are ways of reaching out and helping people that are most needy. It's also connected with him that we have um, Louise de Merillac, and she founded the Sisters of Charity, and so are the Daughters of Charity, and the Daughters of Charity are also very much linked to Vincent de Paul. So today, as we reflect on either what it means to be smaller and needy, or someone who is bigger and able to help those in need, we look to Vincent de Paul to be our example and to be our example and guide and to help us understand this is what Jesus is always calling us to do. We have a preferential option for the poor and the needy, those who most need our help, because Jesus would recognize we are most needy and wants to give us his help. Let us be open to the help he gives and the help he gives others through us.
Let us now bring together our prayers. We pray for the church. Guided by the Holy Spirit, we will find ever new ways to, com- to uh, communicate to other people the truth of Jesus' presence with us. We pray to the Lord. We pray for our world and all those who are powerful in the world, that they will recognize the trust entrusted to them to care for those who don't have what they need to get by through a day. For them, we pray to the Lord. We pray for all the poor and the needy, those who struggle for a living, those who struggle through their daily lives, for, their, for them to recognize God's presence, we pray to the Lord. We pray for all of those who serve the poor. We pray for the people who do that, the agencies that do that, and that we will learn to do it ever better. We pray to the Lord. We pray for the many sick in our world, those sick with disease, those sick with injury, those sick with chronic conditions, those sick with mental health issues. For their healing, we pray to the Lord. We pray for all of those who have died. In a special way today, we are asked to remember Nina Fogata. We pray to the Lord. We pause a moment to consider what prayers may be asked by the people joining us online. For their prayers and all of ours, we pray to the Lord. Gracious God, accept us and the prayers we place before you with confidence through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer, fruit of earth, work of human hands. It will become the bread of life. And by the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, For through your goodness we have received this wine we offer, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. Let it become our spiritual drink. Lord, wash me my iniquity. Pray, sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who enabled St. Vincent to imitate what he celebrated in the divine mysteries, grant that by the power of this sacrifice, we too may be transformed into an oblation acceptable to you, Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, 
through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Vincent you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Indeed, you are holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, the clergy, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with St. Vincent de Paul, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. As Jesus taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from me. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever.
peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word in my soul.
Let us pray. Renewed by this heavenly sacrament, O Lord, we implore that just as we are prompted by St. Vincent's example to imitate your Son in his preaching of the gospel to the poor, so too we may be sustained by his prayers through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go now in the love of Christ to take care of the poor and the needy.